Bohemians pressed to the quarterfinals of the FAI Cup with a dominant 6-0 win over Munster Senior League opponents Rockland at a wintry Daily Men Park this evening. A brace from James Clark, as well as goals from Jonathan Afalabi, Declan McVeigh, Chris Quardick and Adam McDonald, helped the Gypsies secure a comfortable passage to the next round of the Cup. The home side dominated the early stages of this game, as expected, but were huffing and puffing in the opening 15 minutes of the match as the rain poured down. The deadlock was broken on the 18th minute, with an impressive team goal finished off by James Clark. James McManus received the ball on the edge of the box and shuffled his feet before finding a clever run of captain on the day, Adam McDonald. The bowl skipper laid the ball back to Clark, who didn't take, who didn't take the open shot at goal for granted, burying past David Brown. Bohemians made it 2-0 just four minutes later, thanks to Dublin, the Dublin side's informed player, Jonathan Apollabi. Uh, Danny Grant's enterprising work in the right wing resulted in a low ball towards Apollabi, and with the Irish striker in the form he's currently in, he was never going to miss from six, yard, six yards out. Bohemians made a three just before half-time, and James Clark controlled the ball on the edge of the box, and with the ball into the top corner, extending the Bohemians' lead to three goals. The conditions worsened in the second half, as the rain streamed, rain streamed down on the players, but Bohemians were not ready to dry off. Ten minutes into the second half, James Akintunde collected the ball on the edge of the box and lofted a pass to Declan McVeigh. Although the pass was cut out by a combination of Kenneth Hoey and Keane Murphy, the substitute was able to dig the ball out from underneath their feet before scoring, increasing the side Z, his side lead to four goals. If there was a goal to sum up the conditions and the away side's evening in general, it was the fifth goal for Bohemians ten minutes later. A loop and cross towards the back post seemed to be gathered by Brown, but the, rock, the Rockman keeper spilled the ball into the path of substitute Chris Guarda, who smashed the ball into the roof of the line. In the 85th minute, Bohemians got their sixth, and it was Adam McDonald that would grab it. As the Bohemians captain whipped the free kick from the right-hand side of the away team's penalty area, although it looked like a cross. Uh, Rockman never stopped all game, and were, uh, sorry, Rockman never stopped all game, but there was a significant gulf in class between the two sides. Bohemians were ruthless, but Rockman also gave them several, several opportunities to be ruthless. Final score at uh, Dalyman Park, Bohemian 6, Rockman 0. No.